everybody. Echo. Open Needle. Welcome to Needle. You can search over 100,000 live broadcasts of news, talk, or music by saying, find, followed by the keyword you're looking for. Try it by saying, find Kendrick. Okay, Needle. Thank you. Peace. <laughs> We've all been there. We've all turned on the radio and gone station to station trying to find something to listen to. And it's frustrating, right? But we're not alone. There's actually 4.3 billion people on the planet who have the exact same experience every single day. And they're trying to find live news, live talk, sports, information, live music. And they can't. So we ask the question, what if it didn't have to be that way? Hi, my name is Ayin Day, and I'm the co-founder of Needle. I'm also the, uh, the creator of the original iHeartRadio app, and I've been in radio for 20 years. And we asked a simple question. What if we could search broadcast radio the same way we search the internet? And so we're addressing a $40 billion global advertising market uh, with a B2B2C platform. And here's how we're doing it. You actually can search the, the, the radio just like the internet. In fact, we've created an AI-powered tuner so that you can search and pinpoint keywords as they're being said on over 120,000 radio stations worldwide. Not just radio, not just broadcast radio, but also user-generated content. So we're building an app that will allow you to open, tap a button and open up your own broadcast and start speaking and have every word that you say get injected into the live search results so that you can be discovered as you're talking. <coughs> we're building software for the home, the car, and your pocket. And eliminating the need for you to have to go from station to station to find the live information that you want. Despite what you may have heard, radio is as popular as, it, as it's ever been. It's actually a $44 billion market globally. And, uh, and that's just o o over the air. So online radio is expected to grow to $2 billion by 2020. It's the number one discovery mechanism for new music. If you don't know this, when your kids are not on your subscriptions, they're listening to radio. And so 74% um, of the U.S. listens on a daily basis. 82% uh, are listening because they have a strong connection with their favorite hosts. And 92% of those mythical creatures we call millennials, they listen on a weekly basis. And so we're not inventing something new in terms of a marketplace, but we're taking really cutting edge technology and laying it on top of an existing marketplace of radio stations, of broadcasters, and advertisers. And the way that we make money is very simple. We take a radio station's all of their audio content and we turn it into text for 20 bucks a month. And, uh, and that allows them to be searchable and so that we can bring them advertisers and we can bring them new listeners. And micro broadcasters are now able to tag while they talk instead of tagging after the podcast and, and spending half an hour to, to, to figure out you know, how to be discovered. And ad agencies, and this is the big one, right? So now an ad agency has been able to track a radio listener over time for every single search phrase that they enter, every single word that they enter. So where Google owns everything that's been uploaded up to, the, uh, up to this moment, Needle will own the now and monetize that with ads. We already have revenue. So USTN, US Traffic Network, is our first customer. And they're utilizing our technology to take all of their live reads and make sure that they've, they've been read at the appropriate time and are pronounced properly and send that data and that compliance back to their advertising customers. We expect to expand that relationship to their sister companies in the next year.
And so across the top, you'll see all the, you see the landscape. You'll see all the usual suspects, right? And across the, and down the left, you'll see the different types of content. So you've got news, sports, live news, sports, talk, information. And then you also have music. And you also have, of course, user-generated content. And you'll notice that Needle scores with all of these, and especially with the speech recognition tuner. We already have 120,000 radio stations as well. So, uh, where's Jason? Is he, is he's hiding, there he is. So Jason is my co-founder. We've uh, been friends and partners for the last five years, and uh, uh, he's a phenomenal technologist in his own right, and built the first messaging app for live broadcast radio. We've surrounded ourselves by amazing people, and uh, we've attracted phenomenal uh, advisors, uh, including Ken Hertz, uh, who we can walk into literally without being without bragging any door in, in Los Angeles, any any entertainment office, any uh, uh, star you can think of, as well as which is our go-to-market strategy as part of our go-to-market strategy. And then Justin Sasso, who runs a 300 pers uh, 300 uh, organization. 300 uh, member organization in Colorado, and then Lou Ferrara, who came from the AP and then Bankrate with a, a billion dollar exit with Bankrate. Um, and of course, these guys. <laughs> so, uh, our go to market plan is very simple. We're going after partnerships. We already have a partnership with the, uh, we're working on, I should say, a partnership with the NAB. We have a very good relationship with them. They are the preeminent trade organization for broadcast radio and then uh, industry-specific earned media. So radio is a very, very small world and very xenophobic as well. So just a little bit of press goes a long way, and we've already earned some of that, as well as, of course, direct sales the old-fashioned way. We're also going to go um, user acquisition-wise. We're going to uh, go after paid ads, of course, as well as uh, an affiliate program. So we're going to actually allow radio stations to benefit financially for promoting their participation with needle over their airwaves. So, so those young people that listen when they're not listening to your uh, your uh, subscriptions, they're going to hear these these ads. And then also needle casters, right? So our user generated content coming from our users, that's going to be actually you're going to see that on your feeds, and you're going to say, oh, what's my friend talking about right now? And you'll go to that. So we've made some progress. So far, we've already uh, acquired over 120,000 uh, radio stations through business development efforts. We've already generated revenue, and uh, just recently we won $20,000 uh, $20, prize, which we're very proud of, from the National Association, National Association of Broadcasters, the NAB Pilot Innovation Challenge that was held in Palo Alto in November. And 2018 looks even better. So we're looking at an, an Alexa skill that you've heard a little bit of uh, that will be live uh, by midnight tomorrow night, and we're really excited about that. Thank you. And, <laughs> and an iOS app that, that we're pushing out for Q2, and then real-time search ads. So we're going to go after this in a big way by Q3. We've already raised $125,000 from prominent investors here in the, the community. Some of you um, may know Ken Hertz, so, so you saw him earlier. So he's an advisor, distillery, uh, a uh, Inc. 5000 company that has uh, invested, as well as Jason Peterson, and the Knight Foundation, along with the NAB. So I wasn't going to say anything. I just got a text that it's okay to say something, but I can't actually announce it. Publicly. <laughs> this is a private meeting. <laughs> I'm just going to say. So we have a demo booth in the back. You can come see us there. Um, Ken, uh, so Ken Hertz is our first advisor who invested. And of course, Lou Ferrara, uh, which is, is uh, kind of a big deal as well. So he invested uh, just last week. Backstage capital is committed. And we just heard. Uh, that <laughs> don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. I can't say it. But we just yeah. got in a huge thing up in Silicon Valley. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> we're raising a million bucks. About two fifty is spoken for now. Well, it is. <laughs> 
And, uh, and then, uh, sorry, thank you, thank you guys. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. So, use the funds. Uh, develop the, uh, the USTN, sorry, I'm a little excited. So, develop USTN uh, custom uh, portal. So, we already got that going, so we need to expand that so we can take advantage of that opportunity. And then, of course, expand our engineering and our technology infrastructure. And then, and then finally, uh, we need the go to market strategy. So, we are democratizing access to information and to the microphone itself. Please join us. Thank you.